Today is the day that I've been waiting for years. And I, if I say years, uh, it's just cutting it short. Um, again, this is very, very exciting because the new technology that Wix has now, and I'm going to be able to show you how you can get early access to it. Again, this is not available for everyone yet, only to a few people, but I'm going to show you how you're going to be able to access this uh, technology already. And again, because I don't know, I don't even have enough words to explain how good this is. Uh, you're going to be able to use AI. You're going to be able to uh, do a lot of crazy complex code. And you also still have the easy part of building a website like the classic editor. So again, let's dive into it. I don't want to, you know, spend too much time talking. But again, uh, just want to apologize for not uploading that many videos before in a couple of weeks and probably months now. Uh, and this is the reason I've been waiting for this technology to show up because I know it was going to change everything. And now that it's here, uh, I haven't even even to sleep because I just been testing everything. So before we start, I want to just let you know that if you want to have access to this, because again, Wix is not releasing it to everyone, you can come to my uh, store, which is on bitso.com. And also this website is going to be updated pretty soon because I'm going to also use Wix Studio. Uh, but this is where you can access this template. And the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to transfer a blank template to you so you can go and copy and paste that template in your account and recreate as many websites as you want and design whatever you like. And when I say whatever you like, literally, that's what's going to happen. You're going to be able to create some amazing things. So again, uh, if you want to have early access, this is where you can go. I have it for $14.99, and this is just for the taxes and time that it takes me to transfer. But let's dive into it. So just to give you an idea of why this is so exciting is because of responsiveness. So one of the things that everybody has complained for years, even myself, is very frustrating is that when you go from a bigger screen to a smaller screen, you have the issues of resizing, right? And that's what we call responsiveness. Also, the mobile version, the buttons, everything is so limited on the classic editor. But if you try to use the Editor X, which was the other version that we tried to create, it's not as good. And it's also too complicated that you're like, you know what? I'll rather just deal with the uh, bad responsiveness of Classic Editor. Uh, so again, this is one of the things that is going to be a big difference uh, with both editors right now. The other cool thing about it is the effects that you can do, the advanced uh, functionality, uh, even if you want to create very complex code, use different APIs. Uh, there's so many different things. And again, now that you're going to have early access to it, you're going to be able to go and explore. If you're a person that's just doing something very basic, or if you're a, you know, a very advanced developer, you can literally do anything. And let's put it this way. This is at the level of web flow when it comes to the things that you can build and how complex this can become. So one last thing I want to mention is if you have purchased a template in the past with me, just send me an email. Let me know uh, that you purchased a template with me and I will completely transfer this for you to for free. But just make sure you use the same email you used on your last purchase. Because again, if it, it doesn't match, I will still going to have to ask you to go through the uh, product page, which is this one. So let's get into it. Uh, so as you're going to scroll down on this example, you're going to see a few different things, starting with this. Uh, before you, you're going to notice that when you were building anything, it was pretty much these two lines that anytime you move an item outside these little blocks out here of the grids, it will give you this message that there was a problem, but it was not going to show up. And the way I'm going to show it to you is as follow. If we go here and we uh, start minimizing the screen, you can see how this image gets cut, things get overlap, and it's just really, really bad, 
right? So now let me show you what happens with the new Wix uh, Studio. So as we come down here and you start resizing your screen, you're going to notice how everything is aligned. And the best part about this is that now you can use AI to optimize the mobile version. So you can literally click a button and I'm going to show you how and you want to make the whole website responsive. So that way you don't have to be like dealing with fixing your mobile version. And as you can see here, scrolling and resizing, it just makes it really, really nice. So again, this is very exciting again, because also the effects, everything that it's available now within Wix Studio is just very, very exciting. And you can, again, be as complex as you want. You're not limited with the grids. And that's the best part about this. So let's dive into the actual website builder. This is what it's going to look like when it's your first time coming into the editor. And on the left side, you're still going to be able to see the common tools that we have before. It's going to have a little bit of a feel of Editor X if you use it. But in reality, it's not as complex or difficult as like how Editor X is. And I'm going to show you why. So if we click here and I want to add a column here, right? Um, just by adding this column, I can already start dragging items. So if I want to do an image here. I can just click here, expand this, and I can also change it, or I can also use an AI, uh, AI image generator. Just by typing here, I can create something, and it will be there. And then for the next part, we're going to go over like the text. So we can do, let's say, a title here. Uh, now, the cool thing about just these uh, items, which it kind of looks very similar to the classic editor, is um that the difference here is going to be the interaction so when you go here you can add something like on hover to add a specific uh like effect so you can do let's say a grow uh something that's cool and then rotate things like that uh if you want to add other type of interaction let's say on click for buttons right you can do something like appear this is one of my favorites right now because let's say if you want to add a button here, right? And I don't want the button to show until they hover over this square. Then I can do something like this and add here and then up here. So once I go into the preview, only if I hover my mouse is going to show up. So you can see. So you can play with this. Uh, there's different things that you can do there. Uh, but let's say you want to build a little bit faster. One thing that you can just do is just add a section here and you're still going to be able to do the, you know, sections that Wix has. But the difference is that now you can go as wide outside. There's no grids. So let's say if we're going to pick one of these examples right here. Uh, let's say we want to use... Let me see if I can find one that I really like. Uh, let's say this one, right? Uh, the cool thing about this is if I add text right now, it's not going to affect the design the way it used to be before. Because uh, what that was one of the things that will happen is anytime you add some type of text or things into the editor, it will completely will be messed up. And again, you can just... Uh, things like that but again the best part about this is how responsive this becomes and as you you go in this way and it's overlapping now i'm going to show you what you can do that before was not possible is that you can also add different breakpoints if you need to but the best part about this is that once you're ready to start you know uh, fixing your mobile version you can just select an ai to do all of that for you. So the other cool thing about this is that on pictures, you have now the focal point. So as your image is getting smaller, you can always select what part of that picture you want it to always show. So no matter if the, the website expands or goes like super small, you're always gonna be able to see that specific thing. 
Uh, so that's part of like the editor. Again, I will leave this for you to go and test. There's so many other uh, cool functions that you can do. The, mainly my favorite is the interactions that you can add because now you can do hover, click, scroll, and you can do different, different things here. So that's the most exciting part for me on this part. Then we're going to go to the next part, which is going to be the coding. So you can go into this section right here and you can start coding. And this again is something that compared to Bello, you still have Bello, but now you can do what's called Wix IDE. And this is where you, it goes even crazier on what you want to do. Um, one of the limitations that the classic editor and the editor X had for realtors mainly was not being able to connect their MLS. Now this is possible. And if you need something, you can also start searching for uh, certain libraries that are available. You can do more things. And again, it's just too many tools that I'm still even exploring right now. You can also do CSS. Uh, you can do different things when it comes to like uh, design. So again, I will leave it up to you, but definitely you're going to be able to build super fast. And on top of this is that now you can have two people working at the same time compared to how it was before that it only allowed one person at a time. So right here, you can always collaborate with other people. And again, that's something that uh, definitely it's very helpful. The other coolest thing is going to be the hamburger menu. If you are familiar with this website called Shane, I believe it is Shane, uh, this one. This is one of the most popular menus that all people always try to do, right? So now this type of menu can be created in the Wix Studio. So you are not limited. You don't have to be using code. Uh, there's a lot of tools now available. And as you can see here, this is the sample that I'm going to be transferring to you if you want to get access to it. Uh, but again, you are not limited anymore to how it was before. You can do different sections. You can do uh, different grids or columns, and you can add different effects within the same thing. So if you already have access to it, take advantage. But if you don't, it's going to take at least a few more months and weeks for some people because uh, they're releasing it to only a few people first, uh, which they call it the partners. And then from there, they're releasing it to everyone else. But if you want to have, again, early access, just go to the site here. Uh, if you have questions, let me know. I'm going to start also making a lot of videos about how to use this tool. And mainly that's the goal now because of how advanced and complex this is, but at the same time, easy to build. This is where we're going to start doing our videos because the responsiveness part is just a game changer when it comes to, uh, you know, building a website. So if you already have a website, this should be exciting for you because now you get to move here. If you are about to start working on a website, I will highly recommend that you use Wix Studio and leave the classic editor because it's going to make your life way easier. So if you have questions, let me know. Uh, check on the comments. And again, I'm always happy to help if you have more uh, things to add or if I miss anything. Again, I didn't went too much on detail because most of these things are going to be a little bit similar to the classic editor. But the main thing is going to be the responsiveness the um uh, the animations and all the things that you can do that were not possible before so i hope you're as excited as how i am but again this is just my best uh present for this 2023 when it comes to building a website so let me know in the comments if you have questions i try to keep this video short and see you on the next video